16 items currently in development for the MCC that will be coming around very soon. We're talking crossplay, server region selection, input based match, make some UI changes, as well as an update on the custom game browser. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And it helps this video get into the algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So recently there was a big boy MCC development update that went live and talking about the current status of the MCC, what's coming and where we're at right now. And there was a nice long list of things that are actively in development as well as things that are in design and that are coming around soon and things are kind of put on the back burner that they know that people want. So we're gonna go through that nice long list for you guys right here. So let's start off with the actively in development items. Starting off the list, we got the UI UX improvements for around navigation, roster customization, and things like that. So this is something that's been in the works for a quite a long time. And currently right now, it looks like some minor things are be making it into the launch of Halo 4 on PC. But most of these items will be held back and coming in at a later date. They mentioned that they'll be added into the Halo 4 notes when the game launches so I'll make sure to make a video on that guy so you can stay up to date when that goes live as well. View model adjustments is number two on this list and you know this is something that they mentioned way back I think in like January of 2020 talking about how they wanted to add this in because mainly in Reach when you played center crosshairs the gun model took up like half your screen kind of insane. Now they have been working on this ever since but they do mention that it's actually been becoming a bigger problem than they really anticipated it to be understandable and it definitely will not be at the launch of halo 4 but they're getting close to work finishing up so recently guys if you checked out the uh flight update on my previous video showcasing the view model adjustments that they added into halo reach that it also just like makes it as good as you would ever want it to be and it might not even need this view model adjustment uh, example here is with the sniper rifle you can see how they more just kind of angled it up to kind of line up with your center crosshair rather than moving the whole gun, gun model up but honestly like to me i don't even know if we need view model adjustments if it, the you know this change for the center crosshairs looks just fine another request that's been around for a long time steam account linking so you don't have to add all your friends again onto the mcc if you're playing on steam they do say this is complete it's ready to go but they definitely want to test it out before they actually throw it out to the public so it will not be coming with halo 4's release this does make me think though it'll probably be part of a flight that you might see for the custom game browser which we'll talk about later in this video in-game fps cap and adjustments another one on this list and it's currently in the flight right now and from my experience it totally works i've been playing halo 4 on like medium settings and i'll pretty much locked 120 fps and it plays fantastically so this is really awesome this should be coming with halo 4's launch they do say they tend to add some improvements and more options moving forward. Like for me, I play at 144 hertz monitor, so I would love to play at that frame rate and just kind of lock it at that to keep a nice steady frame rate. EC file share is something that has been in the works for a long time, guys, and they do say it's officially not coming with Halo 4's release. They are assessing things with it and looking to hopefully release it in smaller chunks. It might be on a per game basis moving forward how they release the file share for PC. Currently right now, it's not going to be with Halo 4. Additional video settings and options, which is something that's currently in the Halo 4 flight, and it's working pretty awesome for me. It's been giving me the ability to change up my settings to kind of tweak it how I like to get the frame rates that I, I desire for those settings. And they do clarify that not every game is going to have the exact same settings because each game has their own options that you can tweak with with the, uh, each engine and stuff like that because there's like nine different engines within the MCC right now. So you might not be able to tweak everything per game but you know you at least you have the options to do so. And here's a big one guys the custom game browser i've been seeing a lot of comments about this one i'm super excited about this i know you are as well they say it's officially not coming with halo 4's launch and they're assessing different phases how they kind of release it in smaller chunks as well but we should be able to get it in our hands pretty soon i'm assuming that this will be added in, in a separate flight so you guys can test it out because you definitely would need to have that as its own flight because of how complex a custom game browser will be but this can be an awesome way to get a chance to play your custom games you've ever wanted to play in the mcc this is a big one it's been confirmed input based matchmaking will is locked in right now for the release of halo 4 on pc unless they find any catastrophic bugs 
And from my experience, guys, input-based matchmaking has been working pretty well. Uh, the UI, I think, needs some improvements to kind of make sure we know exactly what input device everyone's using. But for right now, I've noticed it working pretty well. I mean, I've had people play on console, join me, and I'm playing on PC, and it just works. So for region selection is another item that's been added in to the launch of Halo 4. Again, I've been playing it, and it just works. <laughs> and the same thing with crossplay as well for Xbox and PC. Plans going on underway right now for Halo 4, and it just works. And they say it's going to be coming with the launch of Halo 4 unless they come across any major bugs. And I'm assuming that we'll have crossplay for all the games in the MCC because I haven't read anything about excluding anything when it comes to the MCC. So I think it's just going to be a general option. Any game you want to play, console or Xbox, join up, have some fun. Double key bindings for all games is definitely another issue that's been dealing with them some problems, actually. Uh, they quoted here saying so many bugs remain here and it's doubtful it will make a Halo Force launch, but they're trying. Per game audio options is another thing as well, which would be great because, you know, some of the mix in some of these games are good. Some of them not so much, especially the difference between like Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2 Classic. That audio mix is kind of not the best right there. So it's nice to be able to tweak those so it kind of get that similar experience. They do mention how they're currently working on it right now and they're looking to transition this into testing soon. So there's a quite a few things we look forward to the next flight for the MCC for sure. Additional seasonal content for season four is also coming in guys. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a teaser when it comes to like the Warhog and uh, the different weapon skins that we have for the Halo 4 as well. Uh, sadly enough, content for Halo Reach, like the armor pieces that we we're told that we're going to be coming are actually going to be uh, coming in at a later date, probably next season, season five, as they mentioned in a previous development update that it's just the, the workflow is just not working right now with the new armor sets for Halo Reach. So you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for GRD to come around. X chat improvements. It's another one. And that's so huge. I've been messing around with the flight right now and it works like there's actual moderation now. So if you say some nasty words you're not supposed to say in public, that gets muted. It's fantastic. And so now I get a chance to actually have my chat open while in stream and not have it completely derail the fun that we're having because Come on, when someone starts spewing some toxic nonsense in chat, everyone's focus is on that. And, you know, you have to address it within the stream because people are going to be talking about it. Also, for content creators, when you're making videos, you get a nice clip and then somehow, you know, someone puts some nasty stuff on the chat while you get like a killing error or something. That would suck. Yeah, that would really suck. Uh, so you can turn it on and off, which is great. And they're actually, and then they brought back moderation to a respectable amount, which is fantastic. And also we have uh, variable frame rate improvements for Reach and H2A coming in Halo 4 confirmed. H2A and Reach are getting variable frame rate adjustments that actually work. I've tried it with the flight when it comes to Halo Reach and it works. You can have Reach at above 120 frames and it looks good. It's just so fantastic. And Halo H2A is getting the update now, which is fantastic as well. So super excited about that A true PC experience. For those games console fov slider is another thing they're working on right now you guys were testing it out in the flight for halo 4 it was there but with the recent update it was actually taken away uh, they mentioned basically there were some performance issues that were happening with the original xbox family most likely the xbox one and xbox one s are probably the ones having the issues with this where the xbox one x is probably doing just fine but obviously they all need to be on the standard performance right there you need to code for the lowest common denominator being the xbox one so that feature has been taken away, though the MCC will get FOV sliders for the Series S and X. Those updates are coming on November 17th, but for the Xbox One family of consoles, those updates will have to come at a later date after November 17th. They haven't specified yet, but it is coming. It is on the way. They have flighted it and people have tried it out, but definitely has been some uh, performance issues with it. And now for the honorable mentions section, the InDesign iteration, which is the part where they're trying to lay out the blueprints of exactly how they're going to implement these options into the MCC. Uh, they're both being mod support and accessibility support as well. Mod support is huge. They've mentioned how they want to try to give the modding community something more to work with with the MCC because right now it's possible, but it's really difficult because we do not have mod tools for the MCC, which would help create content like nobody's business. It's the reason why you've seen Halo CE Custom Edition have so many great mods because they have mod tools for that game. It helps the creation process so much more. So they're looking to add more mod support right now, but currently right now it's not in active development, but they're working on finding ways to do that. And also in the backlog, as in things that, you know, they're looking to get into when they have the time, uh, idle system improvements, 
split screen on PC and HDR on PC. HDR, if you don't know, being better contrast and color saturation and better vibrance, just some overall better visuals like you have with the Xbox One S. Those are all the items you guys have to look forward to when it comes to the MCC. A lot of things being added in, a lot of things moving forward, guys, and some things coming in the future. And I guarantee I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we know more information on those items. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Check out the videos on the screen if you missed any content from me recently, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.